Hi guys, welcome to our section how to find the factors of a number. Let's start first by asking ourselves what is a factor. When you multiply integers, each of the multiplied integers is called a factor. Let's see. 12 is the same as 4 times 3. Also 12 is the same as 6 times 2. 12 is also 12 times 1. As you can see here, 4 and 3 are factors of 12. 2 and 6 are factors of 12. 1 and 2 are factors of 12. So basically, when you multiply two integers, the integers that you're multiplying are called factors. So let's go ahead and do an example. What are the factors of 12? We need to find the numbers that divide evenly 12. First, we need to ask ourselves, can I divide the number by 1, 2, 3, and so on? Let's go ahead and do it. Can I divide 12 by 1? The answer is yes. Therefore, 1 is a factor. So far, we know that 1 is a factor of 12. Let's continue. Can I divide 12 by 2? Yes. Therefore, 2 is a factor. So far, we have 1 and 2. What about 3? Can I divide 12 by 3? Therefore, yes, 3 is a factor. And as you can see here, so far we have 1, 2, and 3. Can I divide 12 by 4? Therefore, yes, 4 is a factor. So far we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's continue. Can I divide 12 by 5? The answer is no. Therefore, 5 is not a factor. So we don't include 5 in our list here. Let's move on with 6. Can I divide 12 by 6? You know the answer. Yes. Let's continue. Can I divide 12 by 7? No. Therefore, 7 is not a factor. Let's move a little bit faster here. I can also not divide 12 by 8. Therefore, 8 is not a factor of 12. Almost done. What about 9? No. So as you can see here, we only have so far 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. Let's continue at 12, uh, by 10. Again, not a factor. Finally, 11, also not a factor. And the last one is going to be 12. Can I divide 12 by 12? And the answer is yes. Therefore, 12 is a factor. Now, the factors of 12 are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. As you can see here, if I multiply 4 times 3, I'm going to get 12. Or if I multiply 6 times 2, I'm going to get 12. 12 times 1, I'm going to get 12. So the combination of some of these numbers will always give me 12. Let's go ahead and do another one. Okay, you tell me, what are the factors of 15? Remember, you need to figure it out all the numbers from 1 to 15 that I can go ahead and divide 15 evenly. So, can I divide 15 by 1? Yes. Can I divide 15 by 2? No. What about by 3? Yes. By 4? No. By 5? Yes. This guy? No. 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 I'm going through my list. I can see that 15 only has three factors. Well, what are the factors of 15? Actually, four factors. 1, 3, 5, and 15. There we go. The factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Let's do another one. You tell me, what are the factors of 20? All right. From all of these numbers, you need to figure it out the numbers that you can divide 20 and you get no remainder. That means that you divide this guy evenly. So can I divide 20 by 1? As you can see, 1 is always a factor. The answer is yes. What about 2? Yes. But well, from here, I can see that 4 is also a factor. 5. Let's see. I keep moving on. 10 is a factor. And I finally see that 20 is another factor. So what is my answer? You can divide 20 by 1, like we said, by 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. So the factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Just to summarize, anytime they ask me what are the factors of a number, I need to figure it out all the integers that I can divide that number by. So 
once you figure out your factors and the more you practice, the faster you can actually do this problem. They are pain in the neck, I'm not gonna lie to you, but they ask these type of questions a lot, especially in any math test or a standardized test. So I wanna make sure that you understand what, uh, how to find a factor, all right? Let's do another one. What are the factors of 18? Again, figure it out. One, two, three, uh, I cannot divide 18 by 4 or 5, but I know that 6, because remember, 6 and 3 is 18. Um, I believe 9 is also another factor. Let's see, none of this work except 18. All right? You can divide 18 by 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Finally, the factors are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you pretty soon. And again, thanks so much for learning.